Hanayama Kaoru from Grappler Baki is a mountain of a man. Even as young as 15, he's larger than the vast majority of full-grown men, both in height and muscle mass. He's a naturally gifted monster of strength and willpower with a grip capable of ripping a thumb-shaped hole in a deck of cards or even crushing someone's arm so hard that their blood explodes through their skin. And did I mention that this guy is the leader of a gang? He's so tough that after getting a tattoo, he went and slaughtered an entire other gang in order to get the cuts on his tattoo necessary in his mind to complete it. And anyone who's had a tattoo will tell you that those things are already tender just after completion. This man is tough as nails made from adamantium. Hey guys, it's the Anime Trainer, and today we're going to get started on a Hanayama training program. The Broly training program was a power building program, was half powerlifting, half bodybuilding. Oliva was a straight bodybuilding program. Armstrong workout is more of a strongman workout, but for Hanayama, we're going to be blending the training of a powerlifter and a strongman, which some would argue is just still strongman training, uh, to build raw, unadulterated, nasty ass strength across the whole body. Just like any of the other program videos, we'll do all of Hanayama's workouts and then a final video putting all of the workouts together into a program that will include the progressions and any notes for training like this on a consistent basis. I know you love our videos and that's why you've got to go down there right now and subscribe to stay updated and get notifications for all future videos. And if you actually want to get notified for future videos, hit the bell icon also. All right, guys, let's get into it. This program is centered around four full body workouts. It's pretty intense, so as always, you'll want to start lighter than you think you need to and progress slowly. Let's take a look at the first workout. Barbell squats, five sets of five at 80% of your one rep max. Barbell bench, five sets of five at 80% of your one rep max. We got pull-ups, five sets of five at 80% of your one rep max. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Barbell bicep curls, five times five, increasingly heavier. Sit-ups, five sets of five, increasingly heavier. And then we're going to move on to grip work. Captains of Crush Gripper, five sets of one. Extensor bands, five sets of 20. Wrist curls, two sets of 15. And reverse wrist curls, two sets of 15. All of these exercises have one minute rest between the sets, partially for conditioning and partially to save time in the workout. Let's take a look at the form for these exercises. For the barbell squat, you want to make sure that you are squeezing your shoulder blades together to create a shelf for the bar to sit on and between them and your traps. You're going to keep your core tight. As you squat, keep your weight in your heels, drive your knees out so that they don't fall in toward the midline of your body. Chest should be more vertical with your core braced. Breathe in as you go down and out as you go up. Since we're working with 80% of your one rep max, on the last set, the last couple of reps should feel pretty difficult to finish. If you are able to complete all five sets at 80% of your one rep max, you're going to add five pounds to all of the sets the next time you do the workout. For the bench press, your feet should be pressed into the ground, butt and shoulders pressed into the bench, natural arch in your lower back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, grab the bar just outside shoulder width apart, and you're going to have the top position of the bar directly above your shoulders, and the bottom position of the bar is just below your sternum. The path of the bar is going to look like an upside down J or a candy cane. As you press, you're going to make sure that you keep tension in your body, squeeze that core, and complete the lift. For the pull-ups, you may not be able to do five sets of five at all, in which case you'll want to use an assisted pull-up machine and gradually remove weight until you are using more and more of your own body weight. Unless you're used to doing weighted pull-ups, you may not even know what your 1RM for weighted pull-ups is at all, and that's fine. Start with your body weight and do five sets of five. Over the next week, add two and a half to five pounds each time you complete the workout. The barbell bicep curls will start with just the bar and build to a heavy set of five on your final set. Elbows pinned to the side, Full extension at the bottom of the movement, full flexion at the top. Don't swing your hips or cheat the movement. Move up five pounds in your final set, the next workout, if you are able to complete the final set. If you are unable to complete the final set, stay at the same weight the next attempt of the workout. The sit-ups will follow the same pattern as the barbell bicep curls. Start with something light and work your way up to something heavy. Another way you can increase the difficulty on the later sets is to use the same weight, but do a decline version of the sit-up instead. After everything, we're going to throw in some grip work because it wouldn't be a Hanayama workout without a grip section. First up, we're going to work on maximal crushing grip strength, and we're going to use the Captains of Crush grippers on this one. So there's a few different types of grip strength, and we're going to be talking about those types of grip strength as we go through the program. But right now, we're going to be talking about maximal crushing grip strength. 
We've already worked one of the kinds of grip strength earlier in the workout, and that was support grip strength with the weighted pull-ups, but we'll talk more about support grip strength in more in depth in another workout. The captains of Crush Grippers are the gold standard for grip strength. You can start with their trainer version or something even lighter like their sport, or you can start with the number one. You may not be able to close the gripper at all at first, but you'll be doing five sets of one rep to focus on building that maximal strength. You'll squeeze the gripper as hard as you can and attempt to touch the ends together. Once you have closed it on both hands, it's time to move up to another level like the 1.5 or the 2. The number one is 140 pounds and is deceptively hard to close, but if you want that Hanayama crush grip strength, this is the place to start. If you'd like to get these grippers, you can find an affiliate link in the description, and that will also help out the channel, and we really appreciate it. Next up is finger extensor bands. With all of the grip work that we're going to be doing for this program, we need to make sure that we're not neglecting the antagonist muscles of the gripping. That means we're going to need to train the ability to open the hand as well. We're going to use Iron Mind's Expand Your Hands bands in order to do that as they have several levels of strength to use. We're going to do five sets of 20, making sure to put the bands out as far on your fingers as possible in order to get the most out of it and open up your fingers as far as possible. When you get to the end of the movement, make sure that you're really squeezing out and opening up those fingers. Make sure the fingers are at full extension. It's best that at the end range of the motion with the finger extensors that you squeeze the muscles involved. That's going to help really push uh, the intensity up on that. If you'd like to get these bands, that you can also find an affiliate link in the description for those. I do recommend that you get the extensor bands or that you do the sand therapy training that we've got in this video right here. To round out this workout, we're going to do two sets of 15 dumbbell wrist curls and reverse wrist curls. For the first exercise, you'll support your forearms on the bench, palms facing up, and extend your wrists down as far as they'll go, and then flex the weight up and toward your elbow. For the second exercise, it's the same movement, but your palms are facing down. You'll likely need a slightly lighter weight for the reverse wrist curls, as the extensors of the forearm are a slightly weaker muscle group. Becoming strong is a long process that will require consistency and diligence in your training. We'll be releasing the remainder of the workouts in the coming weeks, as well as a video to talk about the program in general. So make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Hanayama is an absolute monster of strength and power. So if you're going to be like Hanayama, you need to make sure that you are committed to the program. It is going to take some time. And that's the workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and an extra special thanks to all of our patrons and YouTube members as well as our MVP Mario Granzato who specifically requested this workout. If you'd like to get your workout requests made too, you can check out the Patreon in the description. That's all for today guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm the Anime Trainer and until next time, good luck and train hard.